Okay, so we got in there. Didn't have enough time to read as I would would have liked to, but you know. Still got there. So the sh did they say the shrine must be on the north pole? How you how we, how we get there? How we do that? How we make sure it's shrine on the north pole? Let's see what it says exactly in our ship log. Our character writes down notes better than I can remember them. <coughs> oh, finally! <laughs> the Tower of Quantum Knowledge and the Quantum Shrine. More and more questions. The Namai built the shrine on the Quantum Moon to aid the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Maybe we'll once we we'll find out once we get there. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Namai. After the two groups of Namai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to visit the quantum moon. That tells me. That does not tell me how to get there. Maybe I have to try and enter the south pole. Trying to the quantum moon to aid in this pilgrimage to the sixth location. Many of my on a pilgrimage during the quantum moon carry them to its sixth and most secret location. Must. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the quantum. On the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Maybe we have to try and enter. Maybe that's the thing. We have to try and enter via the south pole. I mean, let's try it. It's better than anything else I plan on doing today. Well, today is, there's multiple. Where is it? Or should we tr go, should we go to Brittle Hollow and see if we could find the shrine? Let's, you know what, let's, let's go here and see if we could find the, uh, see if we could find the, uh, the quantum fluctuation. I also didn't realize you could pull this th thing out while on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to fire the retro rockets anymore. I got it from here. All right, in we go. All right, that's just freaky. Do not land. Wait. Is it in there? Hold on, can you please like match velocity? With that thing. Oh, I'm getting massive drops in frames. The game does not like me when I'm next to this thing. Where is Welcome back. It's not on you. That's just a place to find the ghost stuff. Nope, it's on you. No, it isn't. What's on you? Can you like... Oh, there's just ghost matter everywhere on you, huh? Alright, so I like need to find a way to deal with you before I explore you, huh? Ugh. The game does not like... I mean, is it inside? No, I think that would just look... No, it's... It might be inside the Gigastorm. I think it is. Okay, then. How do I get inside the Gigastorm? I don't know. If I know how to get inside the Gigas... Quite yet. I mean, how would I get inside that? Go in from underneath? But no, then we're just gonna get launched out into space. Um... Is it raining inside my ship? That's unfortunate. 
Yeah, also we can't explore the, uh, that piece of... That piece of... Uh, can't explore that piece of dark bramble because it's filled to the brim with ghost matter. And just walking through it for like a couple of seconds really hurts. I can't stand too long in it. Alright, maybe we do go find the quantum moon then. Uh -huh. Goodbye. I mean, I don't think we enter from the top either. You. You son of a gun, you. What if I were to do this? Get my uh, photo mode out. And I just be <gasps> very careful about my path through here. Yeah, that works. <gasps> nope. <sighs> Ship. Please come pick me up. Please come pick me up, ship. I need you. Now more than ever. Can I, like, not get back up once I've fallen in? Oh, here we go, I think. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this again once I've... I mean, maybe I have to try and get through once I've, uh, once it's in space. That seems pretty hard. Ugh. free from the ghost of Mateo right now. Can I make that jump? Ugh. Please don't launch us away right now. Let's wait in here while we get launched away. Forever drifting alone. Forever waiting for our chance to have gravity again. Alright, back at it. Hello? I found my way onto you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sense it. <gasps> what do you have to teach us, guy? Oh. Yeah? <clears throat> Trip four. Entry number whatever. But crashes two. Boring crashes zero. Remember see Slate when I get back. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! All the way down to the core! Consider yourself conquered, Giants Deep. You just got Feldspard! 
It was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Oh, I can't wait to tell Hornsfellas and Ghosted about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more up the list. Seems that's all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. That didn't tell us anything. He, we just know that he went to the uh, center place. Uh, he, we know he went to the core. Hold on. There's a piece of his tentacle exposed. I wonder if I could like uh, fly up somehow and touch that. My ship. Let's go. Alright, I think well, we got all that we can on this place, so let's go back into our ship. Uh, gravity was weird. Let's land right here. Actually, you. So let's see if you say anything about it. Oh, uh, this place is about to get picked up, huh? Oh, well. I've come so far. I'm less scared now. Hey, buddy, you mind if you mind if I stop time while I'm talking to you? Hey, if it is my time, buddy. Uh, yeah. Saw your ship again. I've been having fun. Did you say hi for me? No. Uh, what are you doing out here? Where should I explore? What's up? I found something. Photo of you inside the old radio tower. Quantum poem. Or, I found what happened to that thing. Bring it in the time loop, for real. Did you find out why? Too much power. Uh, for might be the wrong word because it looks like they were still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Yeah. I don't know, I thought you'd say something about how you went to the core. I found something. I found your quantum poem. All right, well, maybe maybe you have nothing for us. Feldspar, if that is your name. All right, take us away. Goodbye. How is that still lit? Did you see that? Well, I guess there's fire around it. There, there's, there's trees around it, therefore it has infinite amounts of oxygen. Okay, so... What now? Where is everything? There's everything. I guess try and enter somewhere from the south pole? Let's head back to Timber Hearth for now, just to orient ourselves. So what, what's still on the docket? We need to get to the inside of the... Get to the inside of the uh, core place, the, the giant steam. We need to get inside of the, that place. We need to somehow... I feel like I'm just... Like, I know how to. I'm just missing the method. So I guess the how to of how to... Like, do we need to, like, coat the ship in anti-electric stuff? Somehow? Uh-oh. Woohoo! Might have just launched the ship. Alright. I don't know, I'm just kind of just flying around right now, wasting time, because I. I don't know. I decided to for a quick second. Alright. Um. 
Yeah, I think we want to wait till the beginning of next loop to try and find the quantum moon and go to the south pole. Is there anything here that we haven't explored in a while? I don't think so, but I'm just going to be sure. Because what was, what was in here? A bunch of ghost matter? Oh, right, we, like, learned some stuff from this. Bramble Island. An island of thorny vines and what appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Felspore camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. This tells me nothing. You. You. I mean, I know where it is. The problem is coating myself with electricity. Maybe... I mean, maybe the way that I do this is by going to, like, that dead jellyfish on... I also need to head back to the Sunless City. I need to head back to the, uh... Actually, maybe that's what I do next. I try and get... Yeah, right, right. I'll go into the Sunless City, finish... See what I can finish exploring in there. I don't know. Keep interrupting myself. Hold on. <coughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, alright. Uh, I head to the Sunless City, see if I can explore there, see if there's... Because I, I know what there is. There's that one spot that I didn't explore because I was scared of the ghost matter. But now that I ghost matter ain't that bad to mess with. I could potentially either run through it or find a path through it. Uh, then, all right, all right. Maybe I could coat myself in electricity on the dead jellyfish in Thorny Bramble. Or whatever it's called. And if I can't... I, I kill myself with the dead jellyfish found on that place, and then I fly back to this place, and I maybe then it'll, like, let me in. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there's still definitely something that I don't understand about... Well, there's a lot that I don't understand about... What is its name? Why do I always forget its name? About Dark Bramble. There we go. <sighs> maybe there's, like, something there. Like, one of the... I don't know how to get into that place. Really? Well, no, there's nothing more to explore here, because it would have there would be like a, a sign that says, Hey, you haven't explored here yet? This is like a big mining place, if I remember right. I guess we... Let's wait for the beginning of the loop. Then we'll head to the... The, uh, Sunless City. See if we could take pictures to help us out. And if not that, then we'll try and head to the South Pole of the Quantum Moon. And if not that, I'll go to the Dark Bramble, walk inside of the dead jellyfish, fly to Giant's Deep, and then see if that lets me in. Maybe. If not that, then, you know, kind of plumb out of luck, huh? Uh, we meditate. <sighs> just, just, you know, just breathe every once in a while. Just let, just, you know, let, let the inevitability of death come for you. And then, once you revive from that death... Uh... It feels like a very important piece of the, uh, of what's going on. Is that third, pr is that probe module? Because that's, we watched that thing explode every loop. So that's, the, I'm sure that's like a really big important thing. We're going to learn some huge stuff from that. I forget exactly what we're, tr what exactly we're trying to get from the, uh, uh, ticket. I forget exactly what we're trying to learn from the probe module, but I'm sure I can look it up in the thing behind me.
Right, to the way into the Sunless City. I still remember. I think. Are we going to crash into that one? Excuse me, madam. I just need to get around you and get to your... Twin. Um... Alright, what? Alright, right, 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 right. I remember. The way in is somewhere next to you, pal. I could hear him from over here. Right, there's a, there's a quantum stuff in there. There's a quantum stuff in there. Uh, no, 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 I remember. I remember now. We need to, uh... It's next to you where we get in. Uh -huh. In fact, it is right there. <laughs> What's at the top of this plinth? So I keep getting distracted. This is bad. Nothing? Cool. Alright. You thought I was going to forget. It's this way. Can park a little bit closer to me? Uh, picture. Better picture mode. Nope. Uh, I do want the flashlight on, please. Alright, there is ghost matter through that way. There's not ghost matter right there. Forget that we can like basically fly in this place because the gravity is much lower. Hold on now. <sighs> I thought that was maybe something. All right, let's go. Open. Place uh, brings back memories. Uh, where is that place that's covered in slime? Is it you? I believe it's you. Yeah, this place reeks of it. We could go safely through uh, this way. Uh -oh. Can't go through there. And the bottom floor is covered in it. But that place is fairly fine right there. getting somewhere. In fact, the somewhere we're getting is right here, baby. <gasps> Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal which we have chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. I'll open my mind to whatever I wound him will want. If the Eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why was it so difficult to locate it? Why was it so difficult to locate it? That's perfectly right. Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? 
Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us no more than it already has. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal? Or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the sh signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is less important? Is any less important, though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Maybe it doesn't. Where do you lead? Alright. Well. Uh, we didn't get that much from this place. In fact, I don't think we can get out of this place because that only goes one direction. How do we get out of here then? Whoops. Sorry. I mean to. Oh. Well, actually, that's how I did mean to, but the first time that was incidental. Oh. I forgot. Oh, right. There's a, a wall here. Oh, huh. all right, well. Is that this entire place explored? Grab it again. I'll be the judge of that. I don't even need to look anymore. I know exactly. It's interesting that there's like two different ways to get across this. You can either land right there or just jettison yourself across. It's not the right word, but it evokes the meaning I want. What's up, ship? Uh, Where's the sunless city? I mean, do we not learn anything from that? No, we did. Hey, that's this entire place explored then. Then I, then I might travel to the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of the signal the eye of the universe. Yeah, I already knew that. Getting, getting a uh, line? No, get, 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 get caught up rather. Right, right now we need to try and hunt for the signal. What is that? There's something flying across the screen. I think that might have just been some random debris. Alright, I think right now we wait for the loop to restart and uh, try and find out what's good with the quantum moon. Yeah. A lot of gizmos and gadgets on this thing. Uh, and I like that. Meditate until next newt. We'll try and enter the quantum moon from the south pole. And then we'll make sure the shrine is on the North Pole. Maybe there's stuff we can move around on this place. <laughs> oh man, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared of what I'm gonna see on the Quantum Moon. It's a, it's, it's an unknown. And you know how we all feel about unknowns. They're scary and should be destroyed immediately. Well, we didn't learn much from that adventure, from that last adventure, but proved that we could. Also, would mark something off the list that's been on there forever. Is that it right there? How can I tell which one is the South Pole? Well, the one in the South Pole is the one that is south from me right now. So let's try and enter from the South Pole then, I guess.
course I picked the one that's like moving the fastest. But I, mean, I didn't pick it. Of course I managed to get Alright, well, I'm pretty sure this is the South Pole. I guess what didn't work. <laughs> I swear I could have almost seen something for a second. Alright, let's try once more. Uh, go there, please. And if this doesn't work... Then we'll have to find out something else. South. This is the South Pole, right? I mean, it's all rotating around this. Nada. That's a whole lot of nothing. All right, let's land back on you. As I make a skidding landing. Put you on just to have it. And let's see, let's, let's try and remember what exactly we're trying to... Somewhere in John's Seat. Yeah, it's coming from the big old storm in the middle. Uh... I feel like the Ash Twin Project is what's going to be like our end game. First off, because it's right in the middle of everything. That's definitely, it's definitely spooky. This is Central Chamber. Escape Pod 3. Yeah, so it does count Escape Pod 3 and the vessel as two separate things, but also that doesn't really mean much. It counts a lot of things as two separate things when they really shouldn't be. Boy, I can't wait for Anglerfish Fossil. That's one of the most important pieces of the important place of this lore. Actually, it was pretty useful. We know that they're blind, I guess. Never made it out of Dark Bramble. Maybe I should, like, maybe I should consider looking for the escape pod and not the vessel. Maybe the escape pod is in, like, a separate place to the vessel. I kind of assumed that they'd be in the same place for some reason. Maybe I should retry that line of thinking. What was I talking about? Right, there's a thing in the ocean's depths. And I forget. Any whom I aboard the probe tracking module will be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. <coughs> right, so it's just we could potentially find the pro, uh, the eye of the universe. I made quotation marks with my hands, even though you can't see them. <coughs> oh. oh, it's getting worse. I should really just get some allergy medication. Oh, that just makes my nose all snapped up, even more. Uh. Any Namai aboard the prep tracking module would be the first. I don't know how to get in here. After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldspar can that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. So, does that mean if I enter the frozen jellyfish, does that make me insulated from electricity? I like that I can mark it on the map. Sorry for sniffing directly into the microphone. I mean, I guess that's all we can do. I'm going to try and enter the frozen jellyfish. 
I'm gonna fly directly there. I don't want to go through Feldspar's camp. Well, we can't, because if we go through Feldspar's camp, then we won't have the ship. So I'm gonna try and find the frozen jellyfish from the outside, which I can do because I can just tag it. Then once we do that, we'll exit, fly to the core and see if we could do anything there. I physically shrug. <sighs> I mean, maybe the, uh... Oh, no. I was about to say, maybe the, uh... Maybe the, uh... The... What's it called? Um... The... What am I thinking of? The, the Escape Pod 3. Oh my god. Maybe Escape Pod 3 was, uh... Like, somewhere on these outer branches. But then we'd be able to see, like, the giant, like, white light. That... That thing is. I'm totally vexed by... That place. I don't know. I don't know what to do to get... To get through it. Uh, let's restart the loop. Fly to that place and see what we can do. Uh, and then we'll head back to Giant Steps and see what we can do from the depths of those that giant. I miss when it was very obvious what we had to explore. And the, and the answer was always the next planet. Now I actually have to, like, think. Man, that looked closer than usual. Alright. Alright, it's still, still marked. That's nice. Alright, so hey everybody, I'm gonna go to live inside of a giant jellyfish. Say, well, how did we hear that? I just realized it's gonna try and crash us into the moon. Uh, and by the moon, I mean that big fiery guy. What's it called again? Let's let's personally make it past you before we, uh, you know, try and get anywhere. Yeah. All right. Now you could autopilot us. Oof. I'm so glad that this game has its autopilot. If it didn't, we'd be, I'd be screwed, personally. Yeah. I hope there's a place I can land. And so I make it back. I mean, I, if I run out of things to explore, I could just keep exploring Dark Bramble. So I feel like I'm never gonna not have stuff to explore in then in there. See, one thing about the escape pod is that it has that giant white light that extends from the, uh... Oh, uh, how do I get to it? Please? Please? Can I only get to it from... Feldspar. Because if that's the case, then the answer to do I do I have to enter it from the outside? Do I have to enter this jellyfish, get back on but to my ship? Is a definitive no. Well, unless I fly to Feldspar, then I go back to no, no. That's a that's a Feldspar sitting in Dark Bramble, right? I'm just gonna keep calling him Feldspar. Uh, I g enter the jellyfish. I enter the jellyfish is the worst movie. Uh, I enter the jellyfish. I go back to Feldspar. I go back into my ship. I fly out of Dark Bramble. I fly two giants deep. Uh, all right, let's just try it. We have nothing to lose. 
What? <laughs>